good afternoon, good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the typical catchment boundary. So uh, each one of you will be assigned one um, catchment crossing. This one, the sorry, the covered crossing, uh, range, uh, ranging from C1 to up to um, uh, C28. So, so you just refer to your group for the catchment crossing. Okay, so we're going to look at this catchment uh, with the dot here. Um, so this is the uh, the the crossing where we need to probably we're going to construct a rod across this uh, dot, and and it will serve the uh, the river upstream. Uh, we can see that there are few tributaries for this river. There's a big um, this two quite a bit tributaries, and then this are another one tributaries, and this a smaller one. So we need to for this catchment. Uh, we need to find the um, highest. Uh, the, um, we need to draw the line uh, along the highest point, and that will form the catchment boundary. So um, we can from this uh, uh, this uh, this topography um, map we can see that there are many heights. Um, there are so many lines in the many, um, and then there are some spot heights. Where, for example, at nine two, um, at two four, at five three. And uh, one zero six at seven three zero as well. So um, these are all these units. Uh, all these uh, the um, heights are in in feet. That's all we need to convert them into uh, meter as well. Uh, we so to so so many lines. So I need, I I just uh, put the um, the value of this line on along the line to show the the contour height so so you some you, you can see that you know the the contour um ranging from like 700 700 600 uh, the darkened line is the 500 so you can see the 500 and then 400 going down near to the river uh well further down further near to the river is 300 and 200 and so on so we need to find the um, uh, where is the highest point? Then we draw around, around draw along the highest point. Um, so uh, as in the class, uh, we said that you know we um, the this catchment. So we find the highest point and just draw the draw a line along the catchment. And this the bottom this part is the uh, the uh, it could be a bridge um, bridge crossing or a catchment crossing or oh, oh, sorry a covered crossing. So we're going to do establish this uh, red line in our 2D um, this topography map. <clears throat> okay, so um, so we we're going to look at the, the heights. So we the the highest point we we try to establish the highest point later on. Uh, from the layers, I already set up a few uh, new, uh, new, new layers. For example, this one, the catchment boundary, and the streams. Okay, so uh, this one, the catchment catchment boundary, I when set up, I going to uh, put the line line width as well. I put it slightly uh, thicker, uh, which point three five um, millimeter. As well as I think the the stream as well. Stream I put it point point three zero. Okay, later on we'll show it. Um, indicate the line scale in the um, when I plot it when I plot in the to from drawing to PDF. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do the do the P line along along the boundary. Um, so at the moment the the current Layer is the current layer is the catchment boundary. So I just type P P L P for P line. Start um I start somewhere near to the the dot here for the, which is the catch the uh the covered crossing. I just draw a line. Uh, this is the highest point. Okay, the, you can see that you know the not the 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 ridge. So you will go along that place. And go along this near to 600, you know, this highest point. And 
and I'm not going to go this place because the, there's a stream, this stream and that stream. So I will need to turn right. I'll go to that this position, call this uh, about here, and then go along um in this uh this high point between the two stream. Let's go at the, this is the highest point. This is this probably is uh, the is more than eight hundred. So just go along that point. Uh, along that and I need to go along here this point is this uh, this this uh, white plane and uh, probably we, I need to go somewhere here and then you turn right okay so I just go up this way go to the this point until this point they are going to turn right and then go down that way um, and I'm going to go to this cost, uh, this uh, touching this point like at five six, going down that way. <clears throat> and I'm going to go down along the uh, this this high point. <clears throat> I'm not going to go down. Uh, I'm going to turn right. Okay, so. So I need to go down this way and that way here. Yeah. I go down this way and go down this way and long and then just go go along this place between five hundred and six hundred feet. Where I going go this way. And do that. Okay, I just close that and then I'm going to join up. Okay, just uh, close it. Just join. Okay, join up. Okay, so this is the uh, the catchment catchment for this uh, which and cross the all the tributaries of this river. Okay. Um. Now I'm going to draw the uh, the the stream because I, we need to find out the land of the stream, the representative stream. Uh, and then the elevation as well. Uh, the stream it will be the we would consider the longest stream. So looking at those these tributaries, we will probably with the longest stream will be from here going that way or all this way and along and then up to this uh, dot here. So I'm going to change the layer um, from the current um, layer which is catchment boundary. I'm going to change to stream. I double click that. It becomes called thick, so that is a um, current. So um, again, I'm going to use a p line uh, to to establish to establish a stream. Okay, so I will go from the 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 upstream. I just go down, going down. Let's go down the. Okay, just go down along this um just draw over the 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 blue the, the blue line okay so let's go along that using the p line okay so just go put it down Okay, so, so probably I just go further down until the, the crossing here. I just click some break which you cannot see with the same color as blue color, just click there and then escape. Okay, so I've done the uh, the streamland streamland. So this is in the P uh, the the polyline. Um I need to label this. I need to lab label the uh, cache. This one, the, um, the land of the um, stream, the land of the and the area of the catchment, as well as the elevation as well. Okay, so uh, to do that, I will need to go to this um, uh, multi dimension multi leader. So before that, I I have set up the multi leader style. 
So the multi-liter multi style um, for the for the liters format, the arrow, the, the this this head here, this like arrow head, I put at hundred for this for for this case, and then the um, the leader structure. So this leader structure is the landing. The landing I put hundred as well, which is this part, and and the content content which is the text um a text uh, so I, I just put the 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 text height to be 100 as well as well okay so all this uh, and, and this uh, my my for my case is um uh, is, is um the blue color okay so, um okay not sure probably it's, probably it's black color so I set it current and I cross it and I going to I just use the dimension multiliter and I just point the, this and probably just above hover above this um this line here. Okay, these are the stream. Okay. I'll just try again. I think I I need to change the dimension. I I I must I'm still using the the uh the the layer for the cashman boundary. So I need to change it to dimension actually. Make current. Okay. Then I go to multi um this uh, multi leader. Point this. Okay, so it's dark. Because I I don't want to um, uh, try again. Um, so I'm going to type in the. Uh, then let's see um try again um multi leader why then uh how to do it let me see multi leader Let's see, I'm going to, I think I just enter. Yep, okay, I need to type the text. Um, land. Ops. Uh, stream. Uh, equal to. Just enter first. And then I just the click. Because at the moment, I don't know what's the land of this. Uh, so I'm going to. Uh, list it. <coughs> uh, just type in this L I S T. Um, L L I S T list. Enter. So I just going to click this stream, um, and find that the length of this stream is two seven nine two seven six seven meter. Two seven six seven, so it's two two point seven. I just going to put two point seven seven, two point seven uh two point seven seven meter. Okay, so so I double click that. Uh, equal to two point seven seven km. Enter. Okay, so. Uh, I just going to drag it a bit shorter. 
Um, similarly, I'm going to do the area as well. Uh, so the the area of this um, I, I I got the arrow and the the, the multi areas. Uh, this one the multi leader and the and dimension. So I'm going to do it. I just copy and then I can copy this. Uh, I just I think I just put a mark there up here. Um, and then I want to find the area of this um the catchment again. I use the I get I use list L I S T and I click the boundary and it gives me the area um <coughs> three six six seven eight three nine three six six seven eight three nine meters square one two three one two three so so each three is uh three million um 3.6 mil 3.67 um million uh, square uh, uh, square kilometer so i just probably i, I think i just put 3.6 uh 3.6 Six six at three point six six at kilometer square. Three point six six at kilometer square. Okay. So I'm going to do this. So uh, the area of catchment uh, equal to. Three point six six at uh, I just put SQ square km. Okay, and I so be, beside that I also need to um <coughs> find the um, the highest point as well. So uh the 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 upstream the the elevation. So I I going to copy the the point as well let's point it here uh, let's get i'm going to drag this arrow down this here so i'm going to change this is um from this we see that we can see that the, the darkened line is 500 feet and then this one is um uh, 600 sorry uh uh, this one six hundred. So probably this one I would say um, the the upstream catchment the upstream elevation is about five uh, about five five zero. So this one the I just put upstream elevation upstream elevation. Just put. Five five zero uh, feet. Okay. And for the downstream uh, elevations, um, just copy the arrow as well. Um, copy this here. I can just shift it around, see what I can do that now. Um, I'll try. Okay, so I can do that as well. Uh, I just see what I can move it up a bit. Uh, just move it up a bit more. Um okay, um let's look at that. Um this is the this lines are two hundred. Okay, the two hundred. Uh so the river at this point is uh, um going down that way. I think going down that way, yes. The river the stream's going down that way. So this is the the this this contour is two hundred and and I think there's a line here which is uh, 100. So this one is 100. So this one's 
up to 200 um, and then this is the 200 okay 200 is here and then the 100 is here probably I'm going to say that this is about uh, between this is 200 this is 100 so probably about uh, 150 feet okay so this one is the uh, I'm going to change that let's double click that so this is a downstream um, downstream elevation is let's say 150 feet okay so I have this um, this thing done um, <clears throat> okay so um, we have the catchment uh, catchment area uh, I have the the length of the stream, the ele upstream elevation, downstream elevation. Uh, in later on when I show the show when I do, when I do my presentation in the uh, this one the layout, I'm I'm not I don't want to show this um the this one the contour height. Yeah. So I uh previously I did it. I think I did the uh the contour height in in a layer. So I just turn off the layer um which is the contour height is uh, this one so just highlight that you can turn turn it off turn off the okay oh it's still there uh, let's see yes contour height um just cut that one itself Oh, I'm not sure why is that what layer is that? Let us check. Um, oh, it's under covered. Oh. So, so this one is under covered the uh, contour. Ah, uh, this is the contour height. So I will need to I just turn this on again. Quickly, I turn this on. So. So I need to be under the contour height. Just um, let's change this to contour height. Um, this is under contour. Okay, this is contour height. I just um, cache uh, the mesh property. Uh, so hopefully I can do it. Just change that. Just change all the, all the, all the contour height to, to the, all the this this point to to the layers of contour height. Um, so I, I'm going to turn it off later on. Uh, so it's a so it's sometimes if we didn't put the, uh, the value in the right layer is a bit of work later on okay i think i probably have most of the thing uh, in in that so i now i can just turn it off i think hopefully um contour height just turn it off okay it's all gone so it's clean there's no more contour uh, because um initially we, you might have to mark it later on after that you know you can turn it off so I'm not going to. I've done this um, in the model space. I go to go to the layout. I, uh, I I got some. My layout one is not. I think it's not that good. I just go to layout two. So um, <coughs> I'm going to do the uh, to to present it in the in the paper space with the title block as well. So first of all, I need to set up the space. Um, this is um. um Going to be um just a minute. I just just a battery is good. Okay. Um, I will need to go to layout. Um, and then set uh, set up the layout as well. So I will go to plot. Um. Okay, actually, I've set up this thing. The, okay, the um, 
I set up the, the drawing. Um, the drawing I set the, the printer and plotter is a uh, drawing to PDF dot PC three, and then the paper size is uh, A three four two zero by nine two two nine seven mm, and the scale I need to set to one to one one to one, and then I need to highlight the scale scale line width. Okay, so um, so say so I just just quit it and quit it. Okay, so so after we do that, um, okay, um, because I actually have done it before. I think I just uh, what I do is that I just um, I think I just delete that. I just delete and do it again. Delete this and so I add another layout too. I do it again. So this is a new one. Um, okay, I do, I try again. Um, plot. And okay, so the printer and plotter I'm gonna change to uh, drawing to PDF dot PC three, and um, the paper size is gonna change to um, <clears throat> ISO full breed uh, A three landscape is which is four twenty by two nine seven, and the scale I going to uh, change from custom to one to one, okay, one to one, and I'm going to show the scale like red. Let's preview it. It can be very tiny. So, um, um, okay. So I'm going to, I'm not going to plot it. I'm just going to apply to layout. Later on, I cancel it. Okay, I'm not going to plot it. Um, okay. So, so this paper space, you see the 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 sign. This one, the 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 triangle here shows the paper space. So I'm going to drag this. This thing is very small. I need to drag it to full page. This whole page is A3 size. Okay. I'm just going to drag this thing to the um just drag it uh, to the full to the full extent of the page. And copy. I'm just going to drag this. Um. Okay. I think it's alright. So um. This um now I'm going to go into the motor space for just double click that. Okay. So I'm gonna bring this one, the this thing to the middle. I'm gonna zoom up. Okay, so it shows it does show the papers the paper space as well. Um now I want to insert the, um, uh, the title block to this um this layout. Uh so I need to go I double click outside. I need to go to the paper space. You know this the rectangle. This uh, I got this sign for the paper space, which is the the, the triangle. So I go to the title um, block, which is in I think it's in the model. I can download it, and I need to um use the command copy clip, c o p y c l i p copy clip, copy clip. So enter, and and I just copy uh, this um. And enter and I open the other drawing and I'm going to pass it. Uh, at the moment, I think I just paste it as a block, so I just put it uh, say here. Okay, so this one is the title space, and uh, all this the line is inside. Um, I don't want I don't want this is this this uh image is um is a um, almost squarish square uh, so I I don't want it to go below the title block so what I do is that I just uh, pull this line up uh, just pull this line up a bit okay uh, I just pull it in a bit and. Same as the other side, I just pull it. I do pull it. Okay, so I now double click. Um, to make the this a motor space inside, I just uh, zoom up. Okay, I zoom up this.
Okay, zoom it up. Double click and then we move out. Okay. Um yep, uh, okay. So this is later on you we need to uh, put the on uh, the name of the groups. I think they said you've got six groups and you put the like the engineers, you put the name in who's the, just put a few of the design drawings, check this job title. Okay. Um I think just you can just put project uh the project and then join title is a catchment boundary and so on the scale the point this one just fit to scale okay the join um so um I just lock this layer make sure that it doesn't um change uh this uh just quick highlight that and then double click and uh, I just uh, go to display log. Yes. Okay. Display log. Um, show. Usually show. You should show the. Yeah. Okay. This it does. You should show the uh the the line weight as well. I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's go see whether the line weight is showing. Um. Line weight. Okay, some sometimes you, uh, we don't show why it's, sometimes it's just uh that work show up. Okay, so this one is the catchment boundary, and I hope you can um you can see how I do it uh do it on the model space and how I present it on the paper space. Okay, so um I think it should show. Uh, I think we do some 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 way we need to do something to treat it so that you can see the paper, the line the lines uh the line scale. Okay. After this, you can plot this, plot this, um, uh, plot this to the uh, on paper and pass some. Or if you want, you can go to the um, publish it as well. They either do, um, you, you can publish in publish it in the uh, the PDF. So let's like go for that publish. Um, so um. I think this is a layout too. So I will. I just want to. I don't want to. I don't want to publish the. Uh, this one the drawing. I will. Um, remove that and then. Um, uh, because mine is layout one, layout two. So I layout one. I don't want this as well. Let's remove that and I just um. Uh, publish it, and probably I I need to you know. Okay, I just put it inside here. This over here, the project drawing. Okay, for in this case, just put in this um, uh, in this folder. I just publish it. Select. Do you want to? Yes. Okay. Close. I just publish it. So it should come up. Uh, so it's processing in, in the background. Um, should take a, uh, just a short. I think a while. Do not show me this. Okay, let's close it. Okay. Um. Okay. You can see that here is still this sign is still is still being processed. Okay. So we just wait for a while. Um. For this sign to stop. Okay. So you can see that you know this how uh, we can be how we do the catchment boundary. Um. Okay. Just a minute. This one is still is still running. Okay. The Okay, I think now it's a plot complete completed. So we can see that you know the um I just go to this um <coughs> so this um oh let's see where is that showing where I put it. Let's see what I can find somewhere else. 
project. Okay, probably I think this one. Uh, let me see. This is the. Uh, what is this? This is the. Is it a PDF? I think probably this is a PDF. Oh, there's this one. Okay, let's see. Yes, it should be. Okay, it should be somewhere here. Uh, what is this one? Not that one. Um, it should be. It should be under this. Try again. Sorry, just uh, just go and check this. Uh, it should be under this folder. No. Okay, so I don't know where I, I it's somewhere, so I can't find at the moment. Um. So. So so I think I just um I just stop here and then uh hope you can know about how to do this catchment boundary and how to present it in the paper space. Thank you very much.